Are you sick of Zoom meetings? I think everybody is after the pandemic. We've been sort of experimenting with using virtual reality for a replacement for these things. And while Meta have created the Oculus headsets that we're using today, um, there's a number of other options. But one of the most compelling things that we've found in the VR space recently is Horizons Workspaces. And this is a fantastic way to collaborate with people at a job and you're actually using uh, sort of the best of all the worlds, so to speak. Uh, and it's so much more so than just a video call. The nice thing about these headsets is they're spatially aware of your actual workspace. They're spatially aware of your head tracking, your hand movements, as you can see. And I'm talking and everything is all in sync in real time. But what's really cool is that you have the ability to change your environment, change your positioning, change your audio, and uh, even change the layout of your presentations uh, or meetings. So right now, uh, Robin and I are in VR and we're, we have the ability to easily, uh, just by using our hands, changing the layout of our tables. So we can actually change this presentation layout. I'm going to just do that right now to make it more like a traditional presentation. So now we're all in a row and you know, you can sort of look around, you see the whole room, you see the shared whiteboard in front of us. And I can also just switch back to the conversation layout, which I, is probably my favorite because everyone's sort of across from each other. And if I can get my hand tracking to work here, I'm trying not to, yeah, there we go. So now we're back where we were. And, but what's really nice is if you get tired of the city view, well, you can go to the lakeside and they have a couple different uh, sort of themes in here. And what's really cool about this is there is some little animations that are happening outside the windows. Uh, it may be really hard to tell uh, unless you're watching for a long period of time, but there's like a, a little soft fog rolling in over the, uh, over the lake that's outside the window. You can change uh, to a villa, so we'll do that. We'll go to the, actually the beach terrace, uh, which is one of my favorite viewing spots. Um, you have the ability to also customize what's in this space. So things like the logo, the, uh, the photos and posters that are on the wall, those types of things, they're all customizable and you just upload them via your browser. And ta-da, we're, we're, we're at a beach terrace now. So. Um, but what's really hard to communicate in a two-dimensional video that you're watching right now is the fact that Robin and I aren't in the same room. We're both in our, our separate homes. But because of the beauty of the, uh, the way these headsets work and the spatial audio, it really feels like Robin's sitting a few feet away from me, much more so than you get from a Zoom or a Skype or Teams meeting. Uh, you just don't get that sort of proximity. Uh, when we first started playing with this, we were in here for a number of hours and we, we just sort of like, it just felt weird when we took the headsets off because it was like we were in the same room the whole time. And we have a number of other really interesting features. Now, obviously having a, a group or a team meeting is, this is a great way to see everybody, but you know, you're going to want to need to bring your computer in. So one of the things you can do is you can actually bring in your computer. If I can just uh, go down here, click a button. And ta-da, in front of me, Robin can't see it. Nobody else can see it. I actually have a remote desktop client running on my computer and it's bringing in my MacBook Pro and all of its windows into a little virtual uh, screen that I have here. And what's really fun is you can actually uh, scale it and make it giant in front of you. So you actually have a really good, nice and clear monitor that you can see. Uh, it does block anybody on the other side of that, but they can't see what you're seeing. And they just see like a little sort of uh, little uh, translucent box maybe. But what's really nice is you have the ability to share this screen to the communal uh, whiteboard as well. So you can actually have a collaboration meeting. Um, and even people that don't have VR headsets can join in. So there's a little floating TV right in front of me there. And I can just go into, I'm gonna go into uh, Chrome and I'm gonna just join this meeting as a regular non-VR user. So I'm gonna um, just go to this website and in a couple seconds, it should load, and um, if we're lucky, we will have me in VR here. 
and there I am, and I can see uh, myself in VR, I can see Robin in VR, and I'm just in this floating TV looking at the whiteboard that's in front of me. I can also choose to share uh, my screen and or take a screenshot. I just really love this way for uh, collaboration. We have team meetings in this space, and I have to say it's it's really hard to go back to a regular Zoom meeting now after this experience. Now it's not without its sort of uh, flaws, and it is considered a beta as of the recording of this particular video, but one of the things that uh, is a little wonky is how you actually interact with your keyboard and mouse or trackpad. So uh, there's something called pass-through mode. And so you're probably seeing a black square in front of me if you're looking through my headset right now. And that's pass-through mode and the camera can't actually record that uh, in it. But I'm actually seeing a really low resolution version of my actual desktop in front of me. Uh, I see my phone, I see my iced coffee, I see my, my MacBook right in front of me. So I can actually see the keyboard and what the software actually does, it overlays the keyboard with higher quality VR lettering. So I can actually see through this and it's really interesting going from my hands that are in VR here into the virtual uh, pass through which shows me the actual hands and then it's the tracking is fantastic for that so you can actually easily see your keyboard your trackpad your mouse any kind of accessories that you might want to use and at the same time still use your computer still do everything that you would normally be doing in uh, a regular meeting room if you were physically there uh, but we're not which is really great so you could be doing this almost anywhere I mean you could if you had a good enough internet, you could do this from a plane and you would never know. So do you think this is the future of meetings or is this too cartoony for the corporate world? Um, we've heard from Meta and Mark Zuckerberg that they are gonna be improving the options with the avatars and the graphical world that we are living in, in VR. Uh, and I think that's only gonna get better. The headsets themselves are fairly inexpensive, uh, although uh, they recently had a price jump uh, due to supply chain and inflation and just helping to uh, basically create the metaverse that we're having our meeting in right now, for example. But the few weeks that we've actually been using this as a regular meeting place for our team has been fantastic. I, I can't wait for this to get better, but I'm pretty happy with how it is right now.